Hey everyone, this is Andrew Embler, CTO of Portland Labs and Concrete 5. Today I'd like to take you through how to create relational express objects in Concrete 5 version 8. If you haven't watched our introduction to Express titled Building Websites with Concrete 5 Express, you really should now. It gives a good overview of what Express is and how it'll help the website building process. Let's imagine that we're running a website for a marina. For some reason, this is always the example that Franz and I come back to when explaining Express. So I thought it would be fitting that it would be the subject of this video. I've created a simple website with a home page and a marinas page. Here's my marinas page. Now, this isn't yet powered by Express in any capacity. This is just a page list with thumbnails and marinas pages beneath this particular page. See, if I click on the sitemap panel, you can see the hierarchy right here. These are simple pages, but let's say I want to have them list their boats, and I don't really want those boats to have their own pages, so I'm not going to add pages beneath each marinas page. But I do want them to relate directly to those marinas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Express to create a boat object and a marinas object and relate the boats that I create to those marinas to keep track of which marinas the boats live in. So to create an Express object, click on the dashboard panel, click into System and Settings, and find this Express section of the System and Settings page. Click in Data Objects and click Add Object. First, let's create an Express object for, for our marina. We're not actually going to output any data from this Express object on the front end. However, you could modify uh, those Marinas pages so that they pulled from this object. And in fact, we might do something similar to that in a subsequent video. So what we're going to do in the meantime is just set up this object so that boats can refer to it. So we'll give it a name, a unique handle as well. And we want a plural handle. This isn't something that you might always use. But uh, if you refer to this in any kind of associations in code, you're going to want to have this handle. Create our object. And now that we have created our object, we are going to create some attributes for that object. Like I said before, we're only using this to associate data with, so we just need a, a basic marina name. So we're going to add a text attribute. Any attributes that you install into Concrete 5 can be used within Express without any custom code. Now that we've created our marina object, we're going to create a boat object. So what I do is I head back into Express in System and Settings, and I'm going to create a boat object. Now here I'm going to actually add a few more attributes because I'm going to want to store more data against these boats. If we wanted to get fancier with this database, we could add photos, um, we could break the owner out into first and last name, all sorts of different stuff. Um, but this is the bare minimum that we should have publicly available on our website, so it seems like a good place to start. Now we have two Express objects. So what we need to do next is relate the two of them. We can do this either from the boat object or from the marina object. It might make more sense from the marina object, so let's navigate back there. Now we're going to add an association. Since each marina can have many boats in it, we're going to add a one-to-many association. You do that from the associations link in an Express object. First, we select the type since our source object is the marina and we are creating an association to boats we want one to many we can keep these defaults and that's it if we navigate back to our boat object we can see that the corresponding many to one association has been created on the boat object at this point, we've set up our Express objects properly. They relate to each other and they've got the right attributes to store the data that we want. So let's make it so that we can actually add them through the interface. This is done by creating forms. First, let's create the marina form. 
When you create an Express object, a default form is actually created for you. It just doesn't have any fields in it. So we're going to add a field set. Don't have to name it anything. And we're going to add an attribute to that field set. This tab lists all of the attributes that we have created for this Express object. And since we only have one attribute, that's all that we have to do. Now let's do the same for our boats. Head into the form section. Head into the form that we created. Let's get a little fancier with it. Now we're going to add all the attributes that we have defined. Now see how we've added this first field set with all our attributes in it? We need a way for administrators to choose which marina each boat lives in. So let's actually add a second field set and we'll call that marina. And within that field set, we'll add an association form control. So see this third tab up here. This will present a select menu on each boat in which we can choose the marina that the boat belongs to. If this were a one-to-many association, we'd get a list of checkboxes. But since it's many-to-one on the boat, we'll get a single select list. At this point, we can actually use Express to add marinas and boats. This is done from the main Express link in the navigation. Our two Express objects show up here. So let's actually add three Express objects for the marinas that we have in our site. I actually don't remember the names, so I'm going to cheat. Golden Beach, Boardwalk, and Island. All right. Head back. And here are my marinas. Now let's add some boats. We do that from within the Express Objects section of the dashboard. Click New Boat. Give it a name, a year, an owner, and we can give it a classification, which shows up like a select attribute. See, we've got all the fields for my boat, as well as a select menu that is dynamically populated by the entries in the marina database. So we can choose which marina this boat belongs to. Let's say it is moored at Boardwalk Marina. Add the boat. And view the record here. Everything loads up in the proper place. And I can even click Boardwalk Marina to get back to the view entry for my marina. Now you notice there's no link back to go to all of the associated boats. <clears throat> and that is because we have not yet added an association control to the marinas section. So let's do that now. Probably pretty self-explanatory. We add the association control to the marina form. View marina entries. And if we click through to Boardwalk Marina, you can see that the minnow is moored there. And I can click through and link back and forth between the two. And if I edit this entry, I get a checkbox list of all the marinas so I can choose which one it belongs to. That's it. We've created two objects and related them to each other. And we can keep those objects up to date using forms in the dashboard without any custom coding. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can use some custom coding to place this list of boats on your marina's pages based on the marina in question, and list boats based on the association to a particular marina. Check back soon for the next video. Thanks, everyone.